Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be example three uh, for Gaussian elimination. Now, in the last video, I did two examples, and I think I actually called them the wrong thing. I think I called it Gauss-Jordan, uh, which is incorrect, because in this video, we are doing the Gauss-Jordan method, okay? Uh, what I was doing in the last video was pure just Gaussian. I think I got that backwards, and I apologize for that. Um, Gaussian is the idea that you get it into rho echelon form. Uh, and rho echelon form is that uh, sort of, uh, I got my matrix, I got that diagonal of ones, I got those zeros beneath them, and then I've got a bunch of constants above the ones, and then whatever these are. That's rho echelon form, uh, which you can see... In our previous example, see see how I said the goal, right? The goal was that. That's rho echelon form, which I think you can see if I go back to my definitions. Yeah, right there. That's rho echelon. Gauss-Jordan is what your calculator does, and that's actually what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, so we went in rho reduced echelon form, rho reduced echelon form. So, uh, it's the same stuff. It's the same elementary row operations and all that good business. The only thing is you're trying to make the coefficient matrix the identity matrix, uh, the one, 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 and then zeros everywhere else. So let me show you how that's done. And this is actually how I'm teaching it in class. Uh, those first two examples in class, I think I actually plan on doing Gauss-Jordan and just showing you this from the get-go, but I don't know. I, <laughs> I did, did, did a bit of a different sequence for my video, but that's fine. It's all the same stuff. So first of all, <coughs> sorry, I'm a, a little bit of allergies here, so I'm kind of coughing. Um, let me make my matrix here. Uh, so I've got X is 1, 2, 3, 1, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 2, and four, 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 three. This is my augmented matrix, okay? Now, what is our goal? Let's do that in blue again. Our goal is to get this in row reduced echelon form. So it's gonna look like that. That's the identity matrix. And then whatever these numbers are, there's just going to be some. Those will be our values for x, y, z that actually solve the problem. So for the most part, it's the same thing. Uh, I'm going to do row operations on this matrix to get some, you know, to, to get that goal. That's, that's what the goal is. Uh, so strategy for this is just like Gaussian. By the way, remember, this is Gauss-Jordan. Gauss... Jordan, the method, um, just like Gaussian, I want to get this one here first, then I want to make these zeros beneath it, then I want to go down the next step, get this one, make the zero beneath it, and then final step, get this one as a one. Once I have that, then you can worry about this triangle of zeros on top, okay? All right. So first thing, uh, and I know this is a lot of write, writing, and so it's going to be kind of annoying. I'm going to copy down the matrix I just wrote. Um, but this is just so the notes are clear, and you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I want uh, these zeros beneath here, right? Well... If you take a look at this one, if anytime you have a one there, that's so, so useful because one can be multiplied by some constant to get the additive inverse for those uh, coefficients right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, and, okay, I'm going to say this real quick. Uh, if you're doing this in college, your professor probably does multiple row operations in the same move. Um, and you can do that, uh, to my students, you can do that. Uh, 
but I would advise that you just take it step by step because this is really new to you. Um, but if you get comfortable with it, I am fine with you doing multiple row operations in the same step. Okay, just make sure it doesn't get too messy. So first thing, I'm going to make this negative 3 a 0. And the way I'm going to do that is by multiplying 3 times row 1 and adding that with row 2. And I'm going to put that into row 2. So what does that look like? Well, 3 row 1, <clears throat> and here's row 2. Uh, 3 times row 1, I'm going to take row 1 and multiply it by 3. So I get 3, 6, 9, and 3. Row 2 is just row 2, so I'm just going to copy that beneath. And now I'm going to add, and I get 0. Uh, 6 minus 2 is 4, then 9 minus 1 is 8, and 5. And that's going to be replacing row 2. So on the next line here, I'm going to make my matrix. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 1, and then here's 0, 4, 8, 5. And now, and then I'll copy this 4, 4, 4, 3. And now I want to get this 4 to be a 0. Uh, so I can use this 1 here. If I multiply 1 times negative 4, the negative 4 plus 4 is gone, right? That's 0. So I'm going to take negative 4 times row 1 and add that with row 3 and put it into row 3. So negative 4, oh, I don't like that. Negative 4 row 1 times, okay. Uh, so we're going to do the top row, this guy, times negative 4. So I should get negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, and negative 4. And on the bottom is row 3, and that's just 4, 4, 4, 3. We're going to add this, and I get 0, negative 4, negative 8, and what is that, negative 1? All right. So that's my new matrix, like so. Uh, and I'm just going to copy it. 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 4, 8, Five and uh, what did I say? Zero, negative four, negative eight, negative one. Okay. Now, uh, I want you to notice um, now that I, I said that you should go in a particular way. You should do this one first, then zero, and then zero. And then make that one, and then make that zero, and then make that one, right? That's the order I've told you to do this as a recommended order. But I want you to notice we actually have a really nice opportunity here um, to make this four a one. I would have to divide by four. And I will do that. But before I do that, notice that four added with this negative four will get this negative four to become zero. And this is beneficial because these zeros aren't going to change, right? Whatever I do here added with whatever I do here isn't going to change. So I will get this to be one, but I could add this here first uh, to kind of make that a zero beneath. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do row two, row two plus row three and stow that into row three. And so I get, um, sorry, <laughs> the total brain fart right there. Row two, here's row three, and I'm gonna get zero, four, eight, five, negative, oops, sorry, zero, negative four, negative eight, ooh, negative eight. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Negative one. That's not supposed to work out that way, is it? Hold on. I'm checking my... Uh-oh. <gasps> ah. Ah. 
Okay, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is just wonderful. Okay, uh, this example I picked, uh, this was actually unintentional. Let me just let me just walk through it. Okay, this is actually a great opportunity. Zero, 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 and four, right? So, um, what this is? Oh boy, I really ran out of room here, didn't I? Um, I guess let's let's just copy the next matrix. So. Yikes, it's one, two, three, one. Hello. One, two, three, one. And then zero, four, eight, five. And zero, 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 four. Zero, 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 four. Okay. Now I know, look, this, this has slowed down the pace of the video a little bit, but I'm actually really glad that this happened. Um, now, you can divide this next thing by, uh, well, you know, one-fourth, whatever, uh, divided by four uh, to get that one here. But notice something here. This matrix, what does this imply? Well, this implies that 1x plus 2y plus 3z equals 1. Uh, 0x plus 4y plus 8z equals 5. And then 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 4. But 0 plus 0 plus 0, that's 0. And this says 0 equals 4. Is that a true statement? That is not a true statement. This is false. And you do, you know what that means. It means this is an inconsistent system. That's what that's what you, is inconsistent. It makes no sense. There's no solution. So no solution. That would be my answer for this one. All right. Uh, that's this uh, this answer. Now, so uh, I guess I got these out of order. I'm sorry. This should have been example four to illustrate an inconsistent system uh, where if you get something false like this, it's like zero equals four, uh, that's no solution. That, that goes with regular elimination too, right? Uh, anytime you have, you know, five equals seven, that's not true, that's no solution. But if you get something like five equals five, that is true, that means infinite solutions. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so I guess what I should really do is do an actual example of Gaussian now. Gauss-Jordan, that actually works out, huh? Okay, well, thankfully I've got a list of these things, um, and they're really, uh, they're just right in front of me here. So let me just actually scroll through this, and give me just a second here to pick one that actually works. That actually is not terrible. Um, that actually has an answer. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Uh, that one's kind of ugly. But I guess we could do it. That's fine. Okay, let's do this one. So next example, this is example four. Uh, when, I make, when I publish these notes, they're going to look a little bit different. Uh, but I don't care. Whoa, what just happened? No, 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 no. When I publish these notes, they're going to look a little bit different. Okay. Real quick, uh, since I didn't have it written, so I'm, I'm going to copy this down for you. 2x minus y plus 3z equals 5. 2x plus 2y plus 3z equals 7. And negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 3. So as normal, we'll make our matrix... Say 2, negative 1, 3, 5, 2, 2, 3, 7, negative 2, 3, 0, negative 3. So I have to kind of rush a little bit because I'm going to go see a movie. So I need to do this in 10 minutes. <laughs> I need to do this in 10 minutes. All right. So first things first, uh, remember I said you could make this top thing a 1? Well, look at what I just said in the previous thing. Uh, 
the goal is to have one zero zero down the right one zero zero, and since this is a two, this two already helps us cancel that two and that two, doesn't it? So let's just do that. Let's just take uh, suppose I I need a negative two with that two. So let's say I do negative times row one, add that with row two, and put that into row two. Okay, so negative row one is just Take row run and flip the signs, like so, and then add that with row two, 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 three, seven, uh, and I get zero, three, zero, two. Okay, so I'll copy down my matrix, two, negative one, three, five, and then the row two is now zero, three, zero, two, and then negative 2, 3, 0, negative 3. And now I can use this 2 to make this a 1, or sorry, make that one a 0. So we're going to do that. And I can just get that by adding them. Row 1 plus row 3. Stow that into row 3. So here's row 1 and here's row 3. 2, negative 1, 3, 5. Negative 2, 3, 0, negative 3. Add these together, I get 0, 2, 3, and 2. Okay, we'll make that matrix. 2, negative 1, 3, 5, 0, 3, 0, 2, and 0, 2, 3, 2. Okay, now I have some creative options here. Uh, but you have a lot of ways you can take this. Uh, I do need this to be a one. I do need that. So let's do that. Um, we're going to half that. We're going to do one half times row one and put that into row one. So really, you're just dividing all of these things by two. So I don't even really need to write anything over here. Let's just do that. Uh, half of 2 is 1, then negative 1 half, then 3 halves, and 5 halves. And I know that's ugly, but don't, don't get too worried, okay? It'll, uh, it'll work out. Uh, you may enter, you may have some fractions, and that's okay. Okay, so I've got this. I've got my 1, 0, 0. Now I need the 1, 0 here. Uh, I know that if I do 3 minus 2, that gets me 1. So I'll do 3 minus 2. So that's like row 3, or sorry, row 2 minus row 3. That's what I'm going to do. So row 3 minus row 2. And oh, I'm sorry, I wrote that wrong. Come on, brain. Row 2 minus row 3, and stuff that into row 2. So here's row 2, here's row 3, um, row 2 is 0, 3, 0, 2, row 3 is 0, 2, 3, 2, I'm going to add these, oh, I'm sorry, we wanted negative row 3, didn't we, didn't we, so we should have made those negative, okay, and I get 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, then negative 3, then zero. Okay. Make my matrix. One, negative one half, three halves, five halves. Uh, and then I've got zero, one, negative three, zero, zero, two, three, two. Uh, I need this two here, this little guy, to be a zero. Uh, and I can get that using this one. If I multiply this 1 by negative 2, that will happen. So I'll do negative 2 times row 2, add that with row 3, and put that into row 3. So let's do that. Um, let's, okay, negative 2 times row 2 is 0, negative 2, positive 6, 0. Row 3 is 0, 2, 3, 2. We'll add those, and we get 0, 0. Yay. Uh, 9 and 2. Awesome. So, let me, we got to copy this over, right? 
Um, kind of unfortunate with the next page. You'll have to bear with me. One, negative one half, three halves. Okay. One, negative one half, three halves, five halves. Zero, one, negative three, zero. Zero, one, negative three, zero. And the last row is now zero, zero, nine, two. Zero, zero, nine, two. Boom. Okay, we're getting there, right? We're getting there. Now, the goal is to make this 9 a 1. So we can do that uh, by dividing that by 9. Take row 3 and just do 1 ninth times row 3 and put that into row 3. Uh, so you should get 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, 5 halves. See how, remember how I said earlier you should do multiple steps in one? I mean, you can, but we're just doing it this way. Okay? I get two nights. Does that match it up with my answer key? It is so far. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, if at, the, at this point, in the last video, we would have stopped here and then converted... Uh, to back to a system of equations and solve from thenceforth. But now, remember our goal, our goal uh, was to get one, 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 and then everything over zeros. So we're, we need to make these three zeros, okay? So first thing, I can make uh, this three uh, be a zero pretty easy by multiplying row three times row but by multiplying the third row by three and adding that with row two. So I get three times row three is zero, zero, three, and then two thirds. And then row two is zero, one, negative three, zero, sorry for burping. I get zero, one, zero, two thirds. Okay, so one, negative one half, three halves, five halves, and then zero, one, zero, two thirds, zero, zero, one, two ninths. And we're, we're so close, right? All we gotta do is get this gone and this gone. So, and this is going to be a little bit tricky here. You're going to need to multiply row 3 by negative 3 halves to cancel out with that 3 halves. Okay? And then you're going to add that with row 1 and put it into row 1. Negative 3 halves times row 3 is 0, 0, negative 3 halves. And then I do negative 3 halves times 2 ninths. Negative 3 halves times 2 ninths. Well, 2 and 2 cancel. So that's negative 3 over 9. So that's negative 1 third. So that's what that is. Negative 1 third. Okay. And then row 1 is 1, negative a half, 3 halves, and 5 halves. So we're going to add that. And I get... Um, one, negative half, zero, and five halves minus a third. Yikes, what is that? Um, times three, 15 over six minus two over six is 13 sixths. Okay. And now we will go from here. Say one, negative one half, zero, thirteen six. And I know you're thinking, Mr. Spake, why? Why would you do this to me? And I say, Well, I'm sorry. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're almost there, and I'm just about to make it in time for my movie. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, I, t I, got I just got to get rid of that one half, that negative one half. So I use this one to do that. So I'm going to multiply one half times row two, add that with row one, and put that into row one. 
So I get one half times row two, add that with row one. So one half, okay, so row two, one half, row two, goodness, can't speak. Zero, one half, zero, uh, one third. Yeah. Uh huh. And then zero, negative one half, zero, and thirteen sixths. So if I add these, I get zero, zero, zero. Wait, 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 wait. That's a one. Yeah, that's a one. Sorry, red flag in my brain. And then one third plus six thirds. Ugh. Is that 15 sixths again? 13 sixths plus two sixths is 15 sixths, which is just um, uh, five thirds. So that's five thirds. So my resulting matrix is one zero zero five thirds zero one zero two thirds zero zero one two ninths. Done. Done. Um, and the only thing is that the key I have says that that's five halves. And I don't know where it got five halves. Oh, 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 because I divided by three. Dummy, dumb, stupid, idiot. Duh, hello. Sorry, don't ever talk to yourself like that. You're all brilliant mathematicians. You all have brilliant minds. Don't ever call yourself stupid like I just did. Um, that was just a silly mistake right there. That's all that was. It's not five thirds, it's five halves. Cool. So this tells you x equals 5 halves, y equals 2 thirds, and z equals 2 ninths. And yeah, was it a pain in the butt to do? Kind of. I mean, good lord, that's a lot of work, a lot of busy work. Um, but I do think you probably could have done this in fewer steps using a different strategy. Um, you may have had to deal with more fractions, uh, but I do know that you could do this in fewer steps. I actually avoided using fractions pretty much at all costs. Uh, and anytime I could avoid using fractions, that's what I did in this strategy. If you embrace fractions head on from the very get go, I actually think you can do this in about, I don't know, probably like half these steps. So I don't know. But all this to show you, this is how you do Gauss-Jordan elimination. Gauss-Jordan elimination. And when I do this in class, I'll probably pick an easier example than this. I just found something online and decided to use that for this video real quick. Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling through stuff. Um, I could have even just continued some of these problems. I could have, you could just continue this uh, to make these all zeros and that would be fine too. So, okay. Uh, that wraps up this video. Uh, I hope this was a little insightful or helpful. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed. All right. Bye-bye.